Hello, Beverly Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day, girl. It is Tuesday. I mean, we are just two days away from Thanksgiving, three days away from Black Friday, and then the weekend. Like, bitch, the holidays are here. The holidays are here. I'm so, so excited. I cannot wait to, like, show you everything that I'm going to be cooking and doing. I mean, you also better be following me on my other YouTube channel, Destination and This World, because, girl... I mean, I'm going to be showing you how to do an amazing Thanksgiving over there. Okay, I uh, welcome every single one of you. If you are new here, well, welcome to the Beverly Troop. Over here, we have a lot of fun. We keep it real, okay? And we spill the tea 365 days a week, all right? So if you are new here, you know what to do. Subscribe, 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 and uh, hit the notification bell. Okay, so girl it is time to talk about the real housewife of atlanta because the development of what is going on like literally i am shaking i am physically shaking if this end up being real mm, anything could happen in the bravo universe girl apparently okay so everything starts Okay, so I don't know if I should. Okay, no, the T is, and then we're gonna dissect it. Okay, there is rumors going around saying that Bravo is bringing Nini Leaks. Yeah, you hear that right? The one, the only queen, mother, everything, Miss Nini Leaks back to the Real Housewife of Atlanta. Oh, girl, if you thought that there was going to be a moment that uh, hell will frozen, pigs will fly, like, this is it. This is it, okay? Like, I cannot, like, girl, okay, of course, nothing is, you know, um, official until Bravo makes it official. But we're going to go through, like, all of the situationships that are happening with Atlanta. First of all, Atlanta is dying, okay? Uh, people are very upset, people don't like it, people are not connecting, uh, there is a lot of rumors saying that Drew Sidora and Sanya Ross have been fired from the show, but we don't know if that is true or not, there are rumors saying that Candy Boros is out of the show, I mean, I don't know, I, I mean, I already did that video, go and, 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 and look into it for all the details about that, but that's what is being said on the streets of Atlanta, now, you know, that Nini Leaks has always have, you know, this beef with Bravo and Andy Coin for a very long time, you know, and 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 she's very flip floppy, right? She's like one day she hates them, the next day she loves them, the next day she, they're racist, the next day she miss Andy Coin. So it's kind of like always have been like a very weird situation with um with uh, Nini Leaks, right? But I think on her heart of hearts. Like Garcelle will say, she knows that she she wants to be back. She loved that she was made for reality TV and she was made to be a real housewife, you know? So I think she will it was just a matter of a phone call, right? Uh Andy Cohen on BravoCon, he said that he will always have a a a, a peace like a space on on his heart for Nini Licks, you know, and that he will always be wanted to move on and that he will always wanted to like reconcile, you know? And I mean, not with that many words, he, he used another words, but like he, he always will have that, that space for her. I think he recognized the power of Nini Licks and he recognized, you know, that she is a great housewife. Now, Nini did a lot of noise on her recent interview with Bethany Frank, you know, and that they were going to do, I mean, some bullshit together, and she was promoting Bethany Frankel, and the reality TV reckoning is coming, you know, and all of that shit that Bethany is doing. Girl, when I tell you that out of nowhere, like two days ago, Nini Lakes went on and deleted 
anything related to the existence of Bethany Frankel. You know, like, she's like, I don't know that bitch. Mm -mm. No, no, no. She kidnapped me. He, she made me say all of those things. Like, I don't know her. Like, mm, I'm going to give you this, like Nini will say. So, it, like, she deleted everything. And then, after she deleted everything, the official uh, Instagram of Bravo refollow Nini Leaks. So it's kind of like everything is, is falling in order. Everything is falling in order, right? And then we have the situation that, you know, that, I mean, the rumors that she sit down, that they, you know, um, work their difference. And, of course, Bravo needs Nini Leaks to return to the show. Now, the question is, how is this going to happen? And my advice, because you know that I love Nini Leaks. I love Nini Leaks, you know? But she needs to understand that her return needs to be perfect in order to continue and to get the, the love of the fans and to, like, be continue being a great housewife. The only thing that I never really quite like about Nini Leaks was on her last, I want to say, two seasons. I feel that she, everything got to her head very quickly, you know? She became the highest uh, pay, paid housewife, and, and the way that she was acting on the show, it was so different from everything that we have been seeing before, right? And it really showed, like, this, like, entitlement. So... so I feel that Nini Leaks became like Vicky Gumbelson, you know, like she knew that she was the shit, you know. So how is this, how is this return going to, going to happen? Uh, my advice is follow Tamara Judge steps. Tamara Judge came back. She was, yes, she was um, chaotic and she was, um, I forgot the word. She was like, she did what she needed to do, right? She did her job. But she came back humble. I know, I know, some of you are going to disagree. But humble, I mean, humble on the sense that she knows that this is not her show. That this is an ensemble, you know. And even though you go after people and you take people down and you expose the shit out of people, it's still an ensemble. So it's not the Tamara Joe show. It's not the Nini Leak show. It's the real housewife, you know. So I hope that, that when she returns, because I believe that this is going to happen, when she returns, that she is able to say like, okay, how are we going to do things better? She just went through a bunch of shit, you know? She's a different person now. Um, Greg is no longer, you know, here. Uh, she has situations with her kids. So she has to have to, like, she had to have to grow up. Is that a way to say it? Have to have. I don't know, Latino moment, but you know what I mean. So anyways, um, so I'm hoping that she comes back and be, and she's funny. She gave us those one-liners, those meme moments, you know. But then I also hope that she's ready to, you know, check people, you know, and be, be the Nini Leaks that we really love. You know, I don't want her to be like, oh, I'm here to save the show. You owe me your lives, you know, because it's going to feel through the camera and we're going to feel it over here and that's not the way to return. You can you can believe it yourself all you want, but over here you need to be centered. You need to earn the respect again from everyone, you know? So be a great housewife. I'm very happy. I'm hoping that all of the rumors are 100% true. Let's see. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you want to get all the tea related to The Real Housewife of Atlanta or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.